So what are you guys? We're part of the Sportwood family! So are you guys real Sportwood MCAT students? Hell yeah! I mean, this is the work thing. So let's do a first mellow version of this. You know, uh, it takes you four hours. So it takes, like, gen four hours to build a fence. Okay. And then it takes, let's say, Nathaniel six hours to build a fence. Same fence, or same sort of fence. And now they're going to work together. How long does it take them together to build one fence? Same procedure, though. Always do it by, I think, pieces and then overall, right? This is one trick. How many fences are you going to build? We need a distance. One. So you set your distance to be one, right? Yes. So let's start backwards. Tell me what the picture looks, big picture looks like. Total distan distance is rate times time. Total distance is one. The rate we don't know, and we need to figure out the time. Okay. So tell me what you can figure out from the individual pieces. You can figure out the rate. Perfect. Because if we do this one, let's say orange for Jen. Distance is rate times time. The distance is going to be what? Uh, one fence. One fence. Let's do it up here. And the rate, we don't know, but how much time does it take her? Four hours. Four hours. So the rate is one fourth. That makes total sense. If she's building a quarter of a fence every hour, it's got to take her four hours to build the whole thing. Right? And if we do it underneath, do it again. Distance is rate times time. Nathaniel's going to build one fence. I don't know his rate, but it takes him how long? Six hours. Six hours. So you can be guaranteed his rate is one sixth. One sixth of a fence every hour takes them six hours to build the whole thing. Right? Then, kind of like the previous problem, what's the overall rate? Now they're not going to hurt each other. You don't have to subtract because he's going to build a sixth of it for you per every hour. She's going to build a quarter of it for you every hour. So, what do they do together? Just, Just they build two of it. Bingo. So, add. Add, yeah. add sounds good. So, the rate here is going to be a quarter plus a sixth. Okay? And then, you know make this guy work out any way you want. Maybe I'll multiply top and bottom by 2 and 3 to get 12 on bottom. This is 2, this is 3, so I think this is 5. So maybe in this equation, the rate is 5 over 12. And then the time is going to be really pretty. So the time is going to be 12 over 5. Okay. That's not so bad, right? Do you want to talk about the shortcut formula? There is a shortcut formula, but it only works if the distance is 1. This always works. This always works. This, so all you do is, you notice how if you were plugging, like, say, th say the time was like A and the other time was B, you would always get like 1 over A and 1 over B, and you always add them up. You can add those fractions and yep. flip it. That's the shortcut formula. But this always works. And for harder problems, this is even better. But let's tweak this, and then we can actually let this whole topic go. So let's say now we're making hot dogs. 